Guys, have you heard that you can get paid to travel to Canada? I'm talking about ten to twenty thousand dollars annually. This opportunity is coming from one of the Canadian provinces. If you are qualified for this program, right? Trust me, it will be the easiest way to travel to Canada without the hustle of seeking employment or going through the express entry or the provincial nomination programs. No, you don't have to go through these pathways, right? If you already have your SSCU certificate or you've acquired a university degree, then you could be one of the qualified applicants to benefit from this program. This program is open to all nationalities. They are offering 10 to 20,000 stipend to take care of your living expenses, your flight ticket, and your accommodation will also be taken care of. This is a newest study opportunity for undergraduate and graduate students to study free of charge. IELTS is also waived for those who have studied previously in the English language. This is an awesome opportunity to travel to Canada through studies. If you want to give this a try, right, then you may want to watch this video until the end to learn how to apply. Please guys, like and share this video with your friends so that YouTube can recommend it to others. Thank you and keep watching. Hello guys, you're welcome to Immigrate with Ami and if you're an international student, that is looking for funding opportunities we're going to be introducing you to where you can actually get funding and either you are an undergraduate student or you are a graduate student there are opportunities for you some of these funding opportunities include fully funded programs that takes care of your tuition that provides you a regular stipend and also provides the cost of your flight to and fro for the program. With respect to English language proficiency test, if you have studied previously in English language, then this requirement is also waived for you as well. And this optimally provides you with a great opportunity as an international student who is looking out for the best opportunities for you to be able to get the education that you desire. In this video, we are going to be reviewing opportunities both for undergraduate students and also intending graduate students as well. So guys, we are talking about the funding opportunities at the University of British Columbia, which is based in British Columbia, Canada. This is one of the top universities of choice in Canada, uh, not only for their academic standard, but more importantly, for international students, they provide a whole lot of funding opportunities. Just to give you some statistics about their funding opportunities, annually they spend over $30 million to fund different types of opportunities on behalf of international students. And they currently have students from over 108 different nationalities that are represented in their international community okay so we'll be starting with their undergraduate scholarships undergraduate funding that is available to you if you are interested in enrolling in an undergraduate program they have what they call the merit-based awards okay and the good thing about these awards is that you do not need to submit a separate application for them so when you submit an application to enroll in a study program, okay, at the undergraduate level, they will also automatically consider you for this merit-based awards, okay? So let's take a look at some of the available funding opportunities for international undergraduate students. The first one is the International Major Entrance Scholarship, which you can see here. And the value of this scholarship is actually between $10,000 to $20,000 per year, okay? The eligibility is that you must be a new student, okay? The entry directly, you know, haven't completed secondary school. You must also be an international student who will be studying at the University of British Columbia on a Canadian study permit. You must demonstrate exceptional academic achievement and intellectual promise, and you must not be nominated for a need 
and merit-based international scholars award okay i'll be showing you the admissions deadline okay in few minutes the second opportunity is what is known as the outstanding international student award this also has a scholarship amount between ten thousand to twenty five thousand dollars per year okay and for you to be eligible for this you need to be an international student and you need to have also completed your high school as well and additionally you must demonstrate outstanding academic achievement and strong extracurricular involvement so if any of this eligibility you know sounds like you then this is a great opportunity for you don't forget that you do not need to submit a separate application all you need to do is to apply to the program and you will be considered automatically for these opportunities for those who are interested in the undergraduate funding opportunities, you also need to be mindful of the deadlines and the application timetable. Currently, the applications for the undergraduate program will actually start from early October 2024. That is when the application will open. And right on this page, you can see the application link. Okay. And for international students, you need to also ensure that you apply on time because the deadline for international students is actually earlier than the deadline for Canadian citizens and permanent resident all of that information is available right here for graduate student there are different opportunities but we're going to be focusing on this one that we think is the best for you which is the mastercard foundation scholars program so this is a funding scheme that is owned and managed by mastercard but they have a lot of different partner institutions so one of those partner institutions is the university of british columbia but before we go into the details about the eligibility and the application process and the deadlines let's take a quick look at what the scholarship cover okay so don't forget this is for graduate students those who are interested in enrolling in an eligible master's program the mastercard foundation scholars program provides financial psychosocial and academic support to mastercard foundation scholars the financial support includes but is not limited to tuition fees coverage accommodation books and other scholastic materials mentoring counseling leadership and development and a return air ticket to a master count foundation scholars country of origin if necessary so basically the funding takes care of everything that has to do with your graduate study at the university of british columbia so this is the mastercard scholars program page okay for university of british columbia each of the partner institutions have their own separate pages but this is for those who are interested in graduate program and who wants to be considered for this fully funded opportunity so let's start from the scholarship eligibility and the general requirement first you must have completed a bachelor's degree since this is for a master's program and then you should not already have a master's degree so those who already have a master's degree are not eligible for this and you should also be 35 years old or younger at the time of application that means you must have been born in 1989 or after 1989 you must also be a citizen or a refugee of a sub-saharan african country and there's a link here for you to actually check the full list of the sub-saharan african countries okay it's actually a whole lot of them including nigeria and you must be applying for a master's degree in one of the eligible programs which are listed below so i'll show you the list of the master's programs for which you can utilize this mastercard foundation scholarship okay so under the faculty of land and food systems the eligible master's programs are master of food and resource economics master of food science and the master of land and water system under the faculty of forestry we have master of sustainable forest management master of international forestry master of geomatics for environmental management master of science or master of applied science in forestry and then in the faculty of science we have the master of data science okay so basically these are only the master's programs that are covered under the mastercard 
Foundation Scholarship at the University of British Columbia. So let's move on to the other general requirement. They have like, um, you know, a link where you can check the minimum academic requirement or the international credentials for graduate students requirement. Okay, so there's a link here that you can check. But basically, if you have completed a bachelor's program, then you are more or less eligible to apply for the program. Now, being accepted for the program now depends on the strength of your profile in general. Okay, with respect to the English language proficiency and the requirement for you to prove that you have or that you meet the minimum English language proficiency levels, if your bachelor's degree was not taught in English, you would need to make arrangement to take either the TOEFL or the IELTS and have the results sent to University of British Columbia. But if your bachelor's degree was taught in English, then this requirement is actually waived for you. Okay. There's also a link for you here to check out University of British Columbia's English requirement if you want to find out more information about that. So what is the application process? The application is currently on and the application for the scholarship itself will be due on October 31st, 2024. Okay, so you need to submit your application before the deadline of October 31st, 2024. So the way it works, okay, for those who are interested in applying for the MasterCard Foundation Scholars Program is that you need to apply for the scholarship before you apply for the study program that you are interested in. Okay, and this is very, very important. So the first stage is that you submit an application for the scholarship itself. And then once they get back to you and they give you the go ahead to proceed, then you can go ahead to apply for the specific master's program that you are really interested in. Okay, so you need to follow this process. There is a direct link here for you to submit the application for the MasterCard Foundation Scholars Program. But what actually determines, you know, if you'll be selected or not is one, your academic merit of you as a candidate that qualifies for admissions to the program of choice, your track record as a transformative leader and service within your community, the quality of your application in line with the program theme, your potential impact on the development of your home country. They will also consider applicants who have faced significant barriers to education. And those barriers could be social, financial, personal, practical, or even health related okay so what are the documents that are required for you to submit an application one is the completed mastercard foundation scholars program application form which you can access easily through this apply now button the second one is a personal statement the third one is your cv or your resume which has to be updated the fourth one is two reference letters and then the last document required is your transcript. So once your MasterCard Foundation Scholars Program application is complete, eligible applicant will receive an email with instructions to submit an online application to the program they are interested in at the University of British Columbia. And then you may also be eligible for a fee waiver if your citizenship and correspondence address is located in one of the world's 50 least developed countries. Okay, so I've opened the list here for everyone to see. So if you are a citizen of any of these countries, you are eligible for an application fee waiver. But when you are submitting your application for the scholarship, you would need to indicate that you want to access the fee waiver as well. All right. So what it means is that they make it eligible for you not to pay an application fee when you are applying for the program after you must have applied previously for this scholarship program. So after reviewing all of this information, if you would like to proceed to apply for this, you know, generous, fully funded opportunity, all you need to do is to click on this apply now button, and then it takes you to this application page where you can start by reviewing all of this useful information and then you can click on this arrow button to proceed to the application. Okay. So basically they start with some form of eligibility test and you would need to actually click 
on the boxes to certify that you meet the condition. So for example, I have completed a bachelor's degree. I have neither started nor do I already have a master's or a PhD degree. I am 35 years old or younger. I am a citizen or a refugee of a sub-Saharan African country. I have lived a significant part of my life in a sub-Saharan African country and I am applying to one of the eligible programs listed. So you would need to check all of those box to be sure that you meet the eligibility requirement, okay, before you can then, you know, go ahead to start your application. And you can see the full application form below. So asking for your details such as your name, your gender, your date of birth, your email address, your daytime phone number, your mailing address, your nationality, the languages that you speak and other useful information okay so make sure you check out the eligibility requirement once again just to be sure that you meet it before attempting to submit an actual application but all in all um, the university of british columbia is a great institution with lots of funding opportunities both at the undergraduate and at the graduate level and we are hereby recommending this institution of learning to you do your own independent research gather the requirement and by all means, apply for these opportunities. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Have a lovely day.